Welcome back to Twist Grip Tales Tech Tips. And now we're gonna change the oil on this little baby. Oil change is a simple thing, but uh, you need to do it regularly. 3,000 kilometers, 2,000 miles, and you need a 17 mil socket to take the sump plug out. And if you want to check out the oil strainer, not the oil filter, it's a metal strainer that takes the big lumps of metal out. But these are pretty good engines. You need a, what's this one? You need a 24 mil socket, not a standard size, but uh, we're gonna take it out just to show you where it is anyway. So let's change the oil on this baby and make sure that she's gonna last for a long, long time. Now remember, on the engine, it says one litre to top it up. One litre will get you to the bottom of the sight window. 1.2 litres will get you to the middle of the sight window and 1.4 litres will get you to the top of the sight window. Now, you might be a bit canny with a penny and you might want to only put a litre in, but my recommendation is if you want to treat this baby kindly, one litre is not a lot of oil for this little engine that goes around many, many times in a minute. So put, as an insurance policy, you put in as much oil as you can. My recommendation is diesel oil. You can't put ordinary oil in a diesel, but you can put diesel oil in any other engine you like. Extra protection powers of the diesel oil is fantastic. A great insurance policy and really doesn't cost any more. So 10W40 we're going to use in this diesel oil and that's going to protect this engine for a long, long time, till the next oil change at least. Now remember when these engines are delivered, they only come with about 200 mil of oil. That is not enough. So this one has had uh, half a litre added. So we're gonna be taking that out. So in your first oil change, you're gonna find a lot of metal flakes because that's is a brand new engine and all of that wearing in takes a little bit of metal off everything. That's a good thing. We expect to see that. You don't wanna overfill the engine more than 1.4 litres and you're gonna find the oil getting onto the bottom of the crankshaft and dipping in the gears and overfilling puts a lot of pressure on uh, a lot of the gaskets. So you don't want to be leaking oil out of these machines. You want to have just the right amount of oil. 1.4 litres is the maximum you can put in to get good insurance, good oil cooling, and keep this engine running sweetly. So treat it kindly. 1.4 litres is my recommendation. Let's do this, shall we? 17 mil on the sump plug and on the filter. 24 mil on the filter over here. Filter, sump plug, all good. So loosen it off under the sump plug. Warm oil. Nip this up, not too tight, just firm. And that's the sump plug in. So here's the oil from the first oil change. You'll see that it's a little bit shimmery, a little bit cloudy, and that's tiny little microscopic pieces of metal that have come out of the engine wearing in. This is part of the wearing in process, and that's all normal and uh, the dark colour, a little bit of carbon in there, but most of that is metal colour. So that's good. Clean oil in, the old oil out. Let's go and check out the filter. So not expecting much oil to come out of here. This is just the filter. Just a tiny little bit out of the filter. Spring, and here is the filter itself. Oh, and oh, that's unusual, but it's good. That's what the filter is there for, to pick up some fibre and some metal shavings, aluminium shavings. 
from the cleaning process. So it's good that we took this out. That's what the filter is for. We'll clean this out properly and fit it back. So we just a uh, little bit of engine degreaser and put it back in. A little bit of lint in there as well. Someone's left a bit of rag in there or something. So uh, it's a good thing the filter's there, the strainer. So that's all. There's no paper filter in these, just this strainer. Uh, it's not a micro strainer. It's only to take the big things out. So that's a good thing that we've taken it out. Let's go and clean this and fit it back into the engine. All clean. Let's get this baby back in. And then the spring. That'll be interesting to check and see what's in there next time we do this service. And we do this up just firm. And that's all good. Glad we did that. Just like new. So this is the dipstick. We keep that out of the way. Put that over there. These are the really good things because you want to make sure your oil gets into the engine and not all over the floor. This is the vital little side window. The oil needs to be honey coloured and it needs to be in the window to keep these engines alive. There we go and that's 1.4 litres. And that will find its way into the engine, onto the sight glass. And there's the oil. Maybe that's only 1.2 litres. 1.2 litres in the middle of the sight glass. 1.4. There we are, straight up and down. 1.4 to the top of the sight glass. 1.4 litres it is. Just to the top of the sight glass. Perfect. 1.4 litres. And put the dipstick back in, tighten it up firmly, oil change, mission accomplished. So that's our oil change. We've cleaned the filter and found some muck in it as well. So that's a good thing. Clean oil in the belly, 1.4 litres. It's in the sight glass. That's great. Keep an eye on that. So thanks for watching Tech Tips on Twist Grip Tales. Let's look to the next exciting episode. What are we going to do next? Let's adjust the rear brake, shall we? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends.